when uh, when we go to McDonald's or any restaurant we decide we are going to splurge and I or go out on a date we go out on a date <laughs> and we decide which restaurant we would like to have a decent meal and we order our meal I'm gonna use McDonald's <clears throat> you get your Big Mac your fries your chocolate shake and your fries is cold your milkshake is watery and your quarter pounder with cheese don't have any cheese on it what pray tell do you do well you may go to the cashier and you tell the cashier I, I got a problem here my fries is cold Milkshake watery. I don't have no cheese on my quarter pounder. Hey, lady, what's, what's, what's up with that? But see, most people know that the cashier and the person with the mop in their hand and the one who is on fries is not the one in charge. So you ask, look, I want to see the manager. Who's the manager of this McDonald's? Why do you ask for the manager? You ask for the manager because he or she or nowadays uh, transgender. <laughs> you ask for the manager because they are the what? Because they are the leader. They are the person in charge. The manager is responsible for the fries, the milkshake, the quarter pounder, how clean the restaurant is. The manager is the leader. And so you ask if there's something wrong, you ask for the leader, the manager. You hold them responsible and you hold them accountable and you look to them to solve your problem to give you your fries your shake and your quarter pounder the right way did you know that President Biden does not control gas prices did, did we know this President Biden does not control gas prices. However, we look to the president for a solution. Hey, I'm paying a hundred dollars to fill up now. What's up, Biden? Biden cannot and does not control gas prices. But you blame President Biden for many many things that the president has no control over but you blame him in fact the Senate and the House of Representatives are probably more to blame on many things than uh, the president and your local leaders but whenever there's a problem who do you look to? You look to the president President Biden President Obama, President Clinton. Who why? Because they are the leader of the world's most powerful nation on earth. You got to have the power to give me some uh, uh hot fries and 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 a, and, a, and a cold chocolate shake and 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 a, and a quarter pounder with the cheese on it. President Biden. And and of course, I want to be able to put cheap gas in my in my big car that I really can't afford SUV what brings me to this talk 
is I was watching a news broadcast and they were reporting on the country of Sri Lanka. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sri Lanka, something like that. They are protesting. I mean, they are really upset. They are so upset. They, you talk about the uh, Capitol Hill riot, January 6th or whatever. They took over the presidential mansion. They swim in the swimming pool. They worked out in the, in the, in the gym. And the president of Sri Lanka, he fled the country. Who knows where the hell he took off. Why are they protesting? Why are all these people in the street, police shooting at them with rubber bullets and grenades? It's, it's, it's all. Why is all this going on? Sri Lanka is facing a very serious economic crisis. And the minimum wage, woo, 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 the minimum wage is a dollar an hour there. A dollar an hour. Who are they going to to complain? They are going to the president because he's the leader. Now the leader is living good. Good food, swimming pools, movie stars. <laughs> Leader living a good life. He could care less. So their leadership is corrupt. The leadership does not give a damn about the citizens of whom he or she, I don't know who the president of Sri Lanka is, they are responsible and accountable to the people. And so now the country is in, a, in an uproar. All this to say, when you want to play leader, there's a responsibility. And if you want to be leader, the people have the right to hold you responsible and accountable within that which you can be held responsible. Like I said, President Biden does not control gas prices. In America, we're going to talk about soul America. We're going to talk about African American America, black America. I see on YouTube and out in the community, and we talk about our leaders. The Congressional Black Congress, uh, Jesse Jackson is a leader, Al Sharpton, uh, the local preachers. Uh, I follow, I mean, some of y'all follow dead leaders, dead people. Uh, Marcus Garvey, Elijah Muhammad. I don't, I don't know how you communicate with these dead people, but y'all follow them. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how you're going to hold a dead person <laughs> accountable for or responsible for anything but that's how sick we are in the mind I follow Elijah Muhammad I follow Marcus Garvey <laughs> I, I, I follow I follow King Tut <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how we do it but if you want to play leader you have all these people on YouTube that you follow on social media they become your leader and you never ask them really where am I following you to in the country of Sri Lanka the people are hungry they can't make any money the leadership has failed them the leadership has been living good off the poor, the poverty stricken. Now they running. As black people, as soul brothers and sisters in this country, 
We follow people because they sound good. We follow people because they <laughs> look good. You know what I'm saying? We don't follow and we're not looking for leadership that's actually interested in holding themselves accountable and being responsible and looking out for what is in the best interest of the people. Leadership means number one priority. First of all, in our situation, we must unite. We must come under one umbrella. Number one priority. Within that priority, our sub priorities, which is food, clothing, and shelter. We must feed the people. The masses should not be going out, going into their personal pocketbook. I'm gonna buy, I, 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 I'm saving money to, to, to buy land, farmland, you know, doing all these personal projects. The leadership is supposed to have a vision the creativity in order to get these things done without putting stress on individuals. If that's what you want to do, that's cool. But that's the, the purpose of leadership is to bring food, clothing, and shelter to the people. How do you expect people to respect your leadership when they're hungry, they're homeless, How do you expect that? No clothing. See, this is the purpose of Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign. It answers all these things. We must feed the people. We must get them out of these jails. We must get our people off the streets. It should not be the responsibility of one organization or one individual. This is the purpose of true leadership. And if we cannot do that, then we need to sit down and let those and give other people a chance until the mission is accomplished. They have given Joe Biden four years. If Joe Biden does not do a decent job, he would be voted out. We don't do that. We hold on to the people we like to the day they die. And what do you get? What do we get? We get nothing. The leaders live good. Nice houses, cars, face on TV. The masses of the people continue to suffer. The Congressional Black Congress, uh, Congress does nothing for us. Our leadership does not provide food, clothing, and shelter for us. They give us pretty speeches. You can't pay your bills with pretty speeches. You can't live on pretty speeches. You can't put pretty speeches can't put clothes on your back. It's time that you stop bull crapping around and grow your ass up. Stop giving your money to all these sound good, pretty speech making ass charlatans and begin to invest in those who understand what it takes in order to change our condition not only for ourselves but for our prosperity our children our progeny this is what the reality is tip on earth is about this is why we have what we call the Mississippi campaign Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign but you don't hear me though you don't hear me though you want to continue to complain and you don't hold your leadership accountable. And that's cool. I just sit back and we hear. We just sit back and keep laughing at you. Keep making mockery of you because you're silly. You get what you pay for. 